Hi, I'm Teacher Im and I create videos to help my students score better in their STP and MSD paper. And I hope my videos can be helpful for you too. Well, today we are going to talk about probability again. So the video will be up after the intro. <laughs> Today, in this video, I'm going to talk about mutually exclusive versus independent events. Well, if you look in the diagram, Venn diagram, if you will notice that these two events look very similar. Okay, both of them are two different events. In mutually exclusive events, there are two events which cannot occur at the same time. Sometimes we call it disjoint. Okay, so you will never see anything in event A happening in event B. So they are totally different events. Okay, for example, we have getting a head and getting a tail when tossing a coin. So you imagine yourself tossing a coin, you can only get either a head or a tail. There will never, never, uh, be the in you are you will never, never be in the situation where you get a tail and a head at the same time. So these are mutually exclusive events. Secondly, maybe you can uh getting a six and getting a four when you toss a die. You know a die has six uh, numbers on it, so you have a count of one until six. So when you toss a die. You uh, you can get only one of the number. For example, if you can if you get a six, you will never see a four on that die, on that only toss. Okay, so which means if the situation is as so, you call it a mutually exclusive event, which means two events could not happen together. As for independent events, there are also two events, but one event does not affect the other two events. Means they are they are not related, okay, and might occur at the same time. So for mutually exclusive, they cannot occur at the same time because, like I say, if you see a head on the coin, you don't see a tail. However, in independent uh, event, there are also two events which are different, but they are not related at all because you are doing a different from a different uh from a different device or from a different uh thing using a different thing. For example, I have here is an experiment on rolling the die. And spinning a spinner with the word A B C on it, so you are using two different things. Okay, you are using a die and you are using a spinner. So at that moment, this event are two different event, but they are not related. So you can do them together, which means you can at the same time. Throw the die and spin the spinner. So, which means these are called independent events. Okay. So, for mutually exclusive events, okay, for mutually exclusive, just now I already said they cannot happen together. All right. For one reason, they might be using the same device. So. When we want to find the probability of A and B, okay, probability of A and B means probability of A intersect B, it is definitely zero because they cannot happen together and they will never intersect among each other. Okay, so we, since they cannot occur at the same time, so we say A intersect B. Is zero. As for independent events, you have to understand that they might be able to happen together, 
okay so when you do the intersection when you when you talk about event a and b happening together or a and b event a and b you can you will be talking about a intersecting b your answer will be taking all the probability of a multiply by the probability of b okay so that is what we call uh independent event so they have two different formula so when you do your exam question the time you have to be careful which one to use okay now sometimes they will ask you to prove okay whether an event is a mutually exclusive event or an independent event so if you wanted to prove that it is a mutually exclusive event the intersection of the event is definitely zero however in for independent event you will have to calculate the in the value of intersection of a intersect b okay they might give you that value and you when you calculate probability of a multiply with calculate probability of b you will get the same answer as a intersect b so this is one way you can prove independent event if you have already learned about conditional event you will see something like this since a and b event a and event b are not related so when you calculate the probability of a given that b already happens your answer will be the probability of a let me verify that for you so if you look at the situation as so if probability of a given that b and b is not related to a so you, when you use the conditional uh, probability formula and the multiplication of uh, uh, probability a and b you will get something like this okay because a intersect b will give you the multiplication of probability a and probability of b so when you simplify them off you will get the probability of a so which means in this situation since b are not related to a it does not affect the probability at all okay so which that's why we get the answer probability of a given that b happens does not affect the probability of a so in this formula can also be used when you do conditional conditional uh, probability and it is also a, a formula that can, you can use to prove that an event is independent the event given the events given because you have two are independent events I'm going to talk more about mutually exclusive events and independent events in my next video. This video is just to clear your mind on what formula you want to use, uh, you need to use when doing mutually, mutually exclusive events and independence events. Okay, I'm going to see you again in my next video. So, do you like what you see? If you do, please hit the like button and I will really, really appreciate it. And you can hit on that button to know more about mutually exclusive events. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.